of the musicians that actually played with the Coltrane's. And at first she was like, yeah, that's really, I wrote to her like in the 80s, because I wrote the, the lyrics. I homeschooled my daughters and I wanted to teach them about the Equinox, so I wrote this melody. And then I sent it to her and she was like, this is great, but you know, you can't get any um, financial you know, benefits from it. I was like, that's okay, you know. And it took a long time to um, take that music into the studio and I recorded it in Rio de Janeiro. And um, as the way the universe works, while I was actually in the studio, record, studio recording the song, she passed away. So she didn't get to hear it. But um, So then when I reached out to their attorneys, they were like, well, you can't do this. Da, 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 da. And I said, well, I have this letter from her from 1980 something. And they were like, whoa. Like mystical, and they're like, why didn't you tell us sooner? You could have sang it at the memorial, and it's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so one, two, four, four, okay. Ready?
Ryan, Ryland, Ryland for um, renting us his keyboard for one dollar. <laughs> All right, so this song is entitled Egyptian Blues. It was the first song I wrote as an adult, right? When I met Rashad, he had showed me some Sun Ra videos and like expanded my whole. Up until then, I was really shy about playing the piano in front of people. In fact, I didn't. I was terrified. Um, but anyway, this song is about um, Egyptian blues. And it's instrumental. I'll just it. Mm -hmm. 